This is a follow-up to my recent video regarding a product from Banggood, Card Above. And I want to thank everybody for all of the various comments, quite constructive. And uh, I'm going to run through some testing here that I did as a follow-up as to the issue with the Pyrex cup. I hope you enjoy. And again, if you guys see something that I don't see, uh, let me know. I really appreciate it. Okay, one of the issues was, was that getting enough argon. So you can see here on my regulator, I've really cranked it up. So we're getting argon now. Okay, we know we're getting a lot of argon now. And I've got the high frequency shut off. And let's see what we find down here. This Spruce it with some some water. And look what we got. I got leaks, leaks at the back and the front. Hmm, operator air. No bueno, that's why she's uh, cooking the tungsten. Got to thank uh, all the different uh, people that uh, chimed in on the comments. And uh, let me do a little thing here and see if I can solve this issue. Not good that it's coming out of the back cap also. Okay, I've changed from this stepped piece that's flat to this other front piece that has a bevel. Let's see if that solves the problem. So we'll uh, give it a little spritz again. And go out and solve the problem. I tighten the back cap a little bit. And uh, that helped. But as you can see, we're still leaking quite a bit of uh, argon. So let me turn the argon back down so we don't have so much pressure and uh, see what we get. Be right back. So I've reduced the argon off of that scale from 40 to 20. And uh, we'll give another shot here and see what it does. Still leaks. I don't know if those bubbles are coming up on the uh, camera, but it still leaks. And I think that is the uh, root of the problem here that we're having. Now let me bring you back again. Okay, here's another test. So I've changed out the front uh, cap here. I've made sure that I've tightened the lens in real tight. I've got the back cap real tight. I actually changed back caps. So I'm changing too much at one time. But we'll try it and uh, we'll see. And we've still got the gas at the half cut back where it normally is. Got some liquid on it. And we still got leakage. That's no bueno. That's leaking. That's gas that's not going to my torch. Okay, same setup. I've uh, all I've done is really tried to set the Pyrex cup on top of that green O-ring. And we'll, we'll give it another try, see if that made a difference or not. No. Still leaking gas backwards. How it's getting by that O-ring, I have no idea. Well, I do have an idea. Whoops, didn't mean to hit the camera there. <sighs> Hang on, I'll be back. Okay, what I've done here 
is put the gas lens in the machine or in the uh, TIG torch. No gas lens. Gas should just escape. But if we get bubbles below the green O-ring, then this it's not seating in the torch. So let's see what happens. Now, I don't know. I didn't see anything there. Let me try a little more. I didn't see any bubbles there. There was enough in there to, let's see if, the, if it came out in the back cap. Hmm. Might have been leaking to the back cap. Well, I'm here studying it, and you can't see what the heck I'm doing. Just took the uh, back cap off of it. Let me look at it some more. Just wanted to show you. I just double-checked my torch connection to make sure I wasn't getting a leak there, and uh, that was okay. Okay. Try another test here. This is the gas lens same setup other than it's not the pyrex it's the other gas lens let's see if we get any leaks on this no leaks yep, take that back double check there yep no leaks hence that's why this uh, this cup works, the, the pink cups work, but the Pyrex cup doesn't work. So, I think I'm done blowing enough argon through this guy to realize that the, the Pyrex cups and how they seal with the O-ring is uh, just, just not working, no matter how much gas you want to blow through there. Okay, so... It's so a follow-up uh, to the uh, previous um, video, and I want to thank everybody for all of the uh, comments back in. I mean, very corrective, constructive comments, uh, and even the comments uh, that uh, want to complain that this is an import product. I understand. Uh, I don't have an issue with that. Um, Again, it's probably a still a not a bad value for what you get, less the Pyrex cups. Um, so, I just wanted to follow this up and put this whole subject to bed. Thanks for your time, and I hope this was helpful to everybody out there. As you can see, no problem with the uh, tungsten. Gonna do a little follow-up there for you guys. <laughs>